Right, let's get this time shaved right down, shall we? Let's go sub 15. I want to get to 10. 10 is my target. Sub 10, I think, would be a great target for me. I saw Zigzag, one of the best players in the world, get 11 minutes something. Um, so if I can beat that, I'd be over the moon. I need a very lucky seed, though, so this is going to take a fair few attempts. I'll try and keep you updated roughly on what attempt I'm on. I am going to need to not commentate while I'm doing it because it tires me out and it makes me slower slightly. So I'm going to commentate on it post video for you, which will actually be more informative. Anyway, without any further ado, here we go. And we're away. Looks green, looks like Europe or France. To be specific, uh, I'm fairly confident that this might be France and those dotted lines on the side of the road confirm that. Uh, I mention to myself that uh, I believe that this is northern France. However, this doesn't really, it only narrows it down very slightly because France is pretty hard. We've got a junction here and it's all just very small places. If you are in the middle of nowhere in France, it can be very, very tricky sometimes. So I've got to hope on this first round that we see a, a road sign, a signpost that's recognisable to me, basically. These ones aren't, but I'm still fairly sure that we're fairly far north in France, just because it looks closer to what Britain looks like, my home country. Now, we're going to get some signs here. And interestingly, we see Chateaubriand, which I believe at this point that I've seen on the map before, because it's like the stake, isn't it? Chateaubriand except it's got a T instead of a D, which I didn't really realize at the time, but there you go. So looking at the sign, and I'm going in there, I'm taking a big punt here, because, you know, that's the only way I'm going to do this anyway, in a reasonable time. And I, I get the feeling it's in this sort of area, and I see it, there it is, and I'm quite astonished at that. Um, and I just check, the T is there, and I can start looking on the map now. For clues, um, for the 178 in particular, and for the other places, Petit, Mars, and Nord S. Erdre. And I'm flapping it a bit. It's not enough. I want to get some more information. What's the town we just came from? Suse Sir Erdre. Excuse the pronunciations. I figure because of the direction of the roads, which way they're pointing, we... In a minute, I figure that we must be south of Chateaubriand. There we go. I'm heading south now. In fact, this is the moment that I realize it, finally. So, I don't notice Petit Mars, which is just coming into view now. But I do see, in a couple of seconds, there it is. Suse sur Erdre. And I'm looking at where we could be. Now, obviously, we're on the 178. It's pretty clear that we're on the 178. Um, which is to the east of this town. And it just takes me a little moment to work this out. As I say, I can be quicker than this. Um, and I'm looking on the map now, and I, I figured it out. We've got to be there. And we started down this road here. But where? What were the features? It was actually quite a, a long straight road, relatively speaking. I figure out, finally, that I went this way and that there's a bend, and that there's a farm, and I'm happy, and we are there. Round one completed. On to round two, Ritorno. It's one of those big, long, straight, dual carriageways in South America, possibly Argentina, but it's okay because we've got quite a few features next to the road that can help us uh, to pinpoint where we are. Now, I'm trying to look at a flag here. What is that flag? That's obviously not the Argentina flag. And I cross the road, and it's, it seems to have gone. Well, the, the imagery has completely changed. And we will see now that the flag has indeed gone. I try to get back over to the other side of the road to get a better view of this flag. And I notice that there is a road name marker, quite gratuitously. And I'm having a frustrating time, so I just go back to the start. And my aim now is to see that road marker. It, because that is the name of this road, and... I know already that this is a pretty main road. And I've gone past it, but it's there. We can read it. It's the RN Route Nationale 16. 
The flag hasn't made too much sense to me at this point. Um, so I decide to have a quick look on the map. See if I can quickly find... I know we're in probably either Uruguay or more likely northern Argentina. And I'm trundling on down this straight looking road, hoping for those road signs that you do often get in these countries uh, with mileage to the next town or city. And they're usually pretty useful. And while I'm doing that, I spot a few billboardy sign type things on the other side of the road again. Now these things can sometimes give good clues dot ar domain names government areas you know buenos aires etc but as i scroll past these i'm getting something it's look it looks official let me fucking but it's not giving away to me the the actual country all it says is chaco which i'm i'm not i'm, I'm not getting anything from it definitive and i'm getting quite frustrated here um and i i've I've got to check them all at this point. I'm I'm too I'm too invested. So I check them all. What a waste of time. And get absolutely nada, unfortunately. But I am fairly sure, despite my rust, that this is Argentina. Now, in a moment oh, I'm screwing this up. Well, first I, I again oh, this is more this seconds wasted, but I forget. 16. The number of the road that I'm on, it was the 16, as most of you will remember. Um, and I just confirm it there. So that wasted at least 10 seconds. But here, a massive sweeping bend gets me thinking, can I just go into the map and see that bend? Now, this is a long shot because I've got to find the 16 first, but I see it. It's near Resistancia. And right near Resistancia, I see some bends that are heading in the direction that we're in. That one there by this camping site is the standout. And we have a junction here with various buildings and little side roads. Could it be that, I wonder? It does seem to add up, but the odds of it being that seem quite slim. I mean, that is the first bend that I zoomed into. Um, I have a look at this sign and there's the Al Argentine. Is that the Falklands? I've only just noticed that, bit naughty. But here we have Seemingly some pretty good signs. Um, I can't quite figure out what that is. Uh, could it be the campsite? It begins with an R, but it's not Ricardo. Um, I'm looking around. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a few signs, but will they match up? They don't seem to be matching up. Um, yeah, I can't quite tell, but I, I do have a quite a good feeling about this. Um, and I think I go for it. Yeah, there wasn't anything in particular that you know, linked it, but there we go, it worked. I took a punt and it worked, uh, because what else am I gonna do? Anyway, next round, this looks like a good one. Uh, we've got some signs there for um, places that seem to be in different countries. I'll try and move forward here in a moment. Oh yeah, I'm looking the other way first. Graz, Linz and Budapest. I mean, they're quite spread out cities. And then this side. No, don't do that. Undo move, nice. So I've just discovered a feature there which was very helpful, undo move. Anyway, this side we've got big cities the other way. Well, Brno really um, is the, the only one, but it's gonna be a bit confusing, but I go into the map anyway and head for the sort of Vienna area because that's where I suspect will be. Leopoldau seems like a Viennese kind of outskirts place really to me. Um, so I'm, I'm looking here to try and find these roads, the S2, the 229 if possible. Uh, now I see one of the places, Gansersdorf, just to the right. And yeah, I'm heading into the suburbs here of Vienna. It's got to be one of these junctions, I figure. Um, don't see where else it would be. Is it that junction there? Doesn't seem like it. The roads don't quite add up. I'm looking for that 229. And I think in a few moments time, there's, there it is. There's the 229 and there's the big sort of building on the side, the big factory. Can I take a look at it? No, because there's this big wall blocking it. Um, but I look at the slip roads and I figure I can't be more than 100 yards away. And I'm not. I'm 25. 
Come on, be a good one. Now, as you may be able to tell, I actually think that this is the last round for some reason. Florida, isn't it? No idea why I thought that, but I think this is the last round. Uh, I've identified it as Florida in my mind. Commodore's Club. Just trying to get any random clue that we can get. You never know. But I waste a few seconds here and don't get anything. Compass Row is the road name though, which is good to get. Which I've just clocked right there. And I have no choice but to carry on north past that lake distinctive lake at the side which I actually recognized from you know Melbourne where I was staying with Megan and Trey they have those don't know whether they're flood lakes but they're recognizably Floridian I believe um, I went through that. a patch of terrible uh, imagery there but we're out the other side and yeah I'm just hoping that we hit a main road here I'm you know having a bit of a gamble on some of these clues uh, just to see if we can get the town name. These are clues in their own right, but not great. And we seem to be hitting a main junction, and this is what I want. And I need information on this one. I need this to be a main road. And it says SR312. I don't know if I've noticed it at that point. I'm looking. I'm still looking at other clues. I'm getting sidetracked. Um, it's a gamble, that game. They could be great, but... More often than not, they're not. Anyway, I've noticed now that it's the SR312 and Mitzel heading perpendicular to it. Still getting tempted by these clues. And I'm going back to look at this. It's the 312 East. That gives me more of an idea of the fact that this is a main road. Because I didn't really understand the SR312 green sign. Now I know this is the 312. Uh, and it's a it's a road you know it's a highway in Florida. Now I can see another big green sign coming up here. No. If we can read it, no. yes we can. But apart from the word beach, which is fairly helpful, um, there's not much there. This next sign, however, Saint Augustine beach. beach, you can just see on the right there, is helpful. It rung a bell. I believed me and Greg drove past it, and I believe it to be well. I know it's on the east coast because of the way we're heading, and but I do find it. It's just south of. Uh, Jacksonville. Now I've just got to find the 312 and I realize we're looking in the wrong place. We're near the beach. So I move down to the beach. I see the 312. It's back up there. The beach boulevard and then I find Mesel Road. There it is and Compass Row as well to boot. But how far are we from that? Well we're just to the south but the lake wasn't on the map. So I've just got to re-familiarize myself with the distance. There it is. Again, I'm taking too long here. I'm looking at the lake. You know, I'm four or five houses down. It doesn't matter. I'm too used to playing UK. And there we go. What? There's one more. <laughs> and that's me realizing that we've got one more round. Uh, but there's a clue straight away here. Icon Alla Shopping Complex, Yola Road, Biliri. Yola Road, Biliri. Now, what country is this? Nigeria. It's Nigeria because of the car that's following us. And it seems to be Muslim, so northern. Biliri, you know, we've got Muslim Nigeria, headgear. Right. Allah, icon Allah. By and large, the south of Nigeria is Christian and the north Muslim. But I've never heard of this Biliri place. Can I get in there and just happen to chance upon it? Because that's going to just give me a great time. And there's more reason to do that in Africa anyway. Uh, because it's there's less signage for nearby towns. Um, now I'm looking in the outskirts of Abuja here because that served me well in the past. And just because I couldn't see it on the map. Uh, but this isn't a great situation right now. Biliri, I've never heard of. How big is it? It could be a tiny village. Am I gambling too much here by just looking on the map? Should I be going down the road? But for a while, I'm going to stick with this plan. It's just how my brain works. I get too tempted. Um, and also, you know, we the way we're playing here, we can have several goes. So I am gambling. I can gamble. I can afford to gamble. I'm looking in the north here of Nigeria. I'm looking. I, I don't know where the boundary is really of Christian and Muslim. It's, you know, there's a crossover. But I'm starting to flap it here and I decide to 
move down the road for other clues. The car in front almost had a clue but didn't. And I'm about to find a clue that's going to help me here uh, more than I thought it would. So this governmental sign here, Gombe State. Gombe State, and it confirms Beliri as well. So that is the village. I wasn't quite sure of that. So I'm in the map now looking at all the borders. These are the states, I, I'm presuming. So I'm looking at, you know, if we can get a, a tri-border like we do there. Kogi. Um, what have we got here? We've got Kaduna, Niger. Not finding Gombe. Where is it? And then suddenly I see the city of Gombe or the town. And I'm now looking for Beliri. Is it near? Yes, it's just south. And the decision to move and look for other signs definitely paid off. That was really well found. And obviously, I'm looking for the shop here. I'm laughing at Old Trafford Barbing Station. But I've got to, I've got to hope that that shop's on there. Otherwise, I'm going to spend a lot more time looking for other shops that are on the map. Uh, and I decide... I moved down the road a little bit, but I think, no... We've got to, I've really got to hope that that shop is on the map. I've sussed out the bend of the road. I zoom in more. And there it is. Icon Allah. And we know we started right by it. Right. Now we've done it. Let's just check that we are recording. Yes, we are. <laughs> now that didn't feel fast to me. That felt slow. But let's see the breakdown. Let's see. 15 minutes, si okay, 15 minutes, 36. I like that. And I am going to upload this because I feel like that was a good time for that seed. It wasn't the hardest seed by any means. I mean, that was a very easy round. But I felt like, especially compared to the games I played before it, where I was having a bit of a stinker, I did really well. That one... I thought I did okay on by finding Chateau Briand. God knows how I found that. I, I know I've seen it before. Uh, is is that as in the stake or is that no? That's with a D, isn't it? Chateau Briand. That's with a D. Anyway, it got me there. Um, this one I felt was, you know, I I did take a long time finding the sixteen, but when I did, I managed to find the location relatively quickly because it's a pretty long road. So yeah, I think I did okay there. Um, that last one, I think I did okay to find Gombe and then find the tiny village of Biliri. It's not very often you get those northern reaches of Nigeria. And then this one was kind of average. But 1536, that's a good time to build on. And yeah, I'm still aiming for that, that golden 10 minute game. I think I can do it. I mean, if you look at that one there, one minute 47. And I, I kind of, I could have done a fair few of those rounds quicker, including that one. Anyway, that is my most recent attempt. I would say that I had about 20, it's hard to say, 15, 20 goes at that. Uh, probably took two hours to do that. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, and that is pretty much all there is to say. Thanks for watching this one. And uh, I'll see you at the next, even more rapid attempt. Take care.